hustle and bustle of the city streets was a stark comparison to the quiet and tranquility that I'm used to in the back country of Scottish wilderness. They're an urban jungle, a maze of buildings with tourists and residents alike rushing around. But I decided to push myself and get out of my wilderness comfort zone as I journeyed to Amsterdam to explore what the city has to offer from a different perspective. I met up with Jakob, a packer after from Sweden more used to urban landscapes. Having previously paddled several other cities from the water, he was the perfect person to take me on an urban adventure. Together we became ambling tourists as we browsed some of the city's sights on foot, enjoying the early autumn sun and taking in the atmosphere that no other city can offer. For the quickest way to explore, we decided to do what the locals do and use bicycles. Amsterdam is quite spread out and realised that cruising was the quickest and easiest way to take in more of the sights. We found our bicycles amongst the hundreds parked up and headed off to see more of what Amsterdam had to offer. It was quite an unusual sight to see so many upright Dutch bicycles as they sped past. These were however ideal for the flat cycleways that crisscrossed the city, showing exactly why Amsterdam is renowned for its cycle status. Within the space of a few hours, we had racked up many miles under our wheels and a much needed rest was in order knowing what lay in store for us later on. We found an ideal location next to the water's edge on the other side of the city, where I had a chance to talk more in depth about the idea of urban pack rafting and how accessible it is. Jakob was able to describe more in depth of his adventures in other cities he visited and how Packraft in them gave him a different perspective on his own personal perception of the city. A couple hours later and it was time to hit the water. We found ourselves a small platform to launch from and began unpacking. Unfolding and inflating our rafts took only a few minutes but the anticipation of what was to come was intriguing me. As soon as we hit the water, I felt much more at ease being back in my packraft. Within a few minutes, we're in the middle of it all, paddling past various floating houses and vessels of different shapes and sizes. Paddling around with Jakob, it became apparent how lucky we were to experience the city like this. With its multiple canals and waterways, Amsterdam had shown us to be the perfect location for such a unique journey. As being able to paddle into the heart of a bustling city was an idea that I hadn't pursued before. I felt like I was in a different world, getting away from the city and onto the water where we were on our own, able to go about exploring at our own pace without any distractions. This unique urban adventure was completely different to the other types of journeys that I'm used to, and an experience like no other that I've had before. Jakob was a great help in changing my perception and attitude towards urban environments. He helped show me how park rafting in urban waterways can give you a different perspective on a city and have a unique adventure.